Congrats! You made it back to another Chief Smoke'em episode, which means I'm your host, Chief Smoke'em. I put a poll on my community post asking you guys, what video do you think is next? None of you expected it, but it's flea market time. But this just isn't any flea market. This is a farm market. So expect to see tools, antiques, produce, guns, and even chickens. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content. And be sure to check out my other videos. Now enough yapping. The early bird gets the worm, and I'm an early bird. Is that one of strayed paratroopers? It is. Heck yeah. One of those strayed, I think it may be Camillas. All right, yeah. But it's one of the paratroopers, yeah. Right. What you gotta get out of it? 80. It's got good spring and good life. Uh, not yet. Yeah. It seems like they're just filtering in. Yeah. It's gonna. It's supposed to warm up, but yeah, be no you know how that is. I think all these boxes are full. I think one. <laughs> Feels cool. I'll get these two boxes off you. Um, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, I actually have my own channel. It's on YouTube, Chief Smoke em. Chief Smoke em. Yeah, I usually look for Native American artifacts and nice. hunting a little bit, but I'm starting cool. to do a flea market stuff, so nice. it works out. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> first time out here this year, and I think I seen I'm on first it. one available in April. You know, like <laughs> community so yeah. Right. Starting early this year. Here you there. You get on these. Well, thank you. Ten bucks. Each. Dummy grenade for a dollar? Yep. I'll take it. Lay on your back and toss it 30 yards and see if you can hit a 10 can on the end. <laughs> All right. Oh, it looks cool, man. That's Thanks. how you do it. Thank you. Get some deals today, guys. You take a movie, man? Yeah. I do the YouTube. I know, I watch you every once in a while, man. There you go, I appreciate it. Monster truck, real. I mean, these things, this thing, there wasn't anything that was like part of a truck, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's in this big building. And I said, what are you selling all this for? He goes, do you have a business? He goes, oh, hell no. He says, we travel all over the United States. Yeah. And we can't find a Mac dealer or a Snap on dealer. He said, We used to run Snap on a Mac. That's all we had. Right. He said, We went to uh, Harbor Freight. He said, Lifetime guarantees. He says, You can find them anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. And we, he said, We break a lot of shit. Yeah. What's the number on it? 175 will buy it. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice old gun. Woo. Heck yeah. 175. Stevens 20 gauge. Pretty sweet. That'd be cool. Who makes this thing? That's that one made in China, I think, is it? 
Shiner. Yep. It's a 12. 12? Yeah, they're all 12, but the one 14. Yeah, he he wanted uh, if we sold them individually, hundred dollars except for this one, but or he said he'd take five for all of them. How you doing, Mister? All right, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm just I don't look at them. They take five hundred for all of them. I'll take them all. He quit hunting. He just can't get out and hunt yeah. anything. And he said they've just been sitting there. And yeah. And no use for them. I don't either. So. Go ahead, bro. I don't like to. I'll give you a hundred for it. That's fine. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, he just needs to set stuff on it, push around the garage. And stuff. It's got a different barrel on it, don't it? Yeah, it does. What are you getting on your box of bullets here? I'll just take ten dollars on each of them, just get rid of them. All right. Are they full? I couldn't tell you. I haven't opened them. They were just there. And, um, a lot of What's this thing do? I have no idea. We get get the music box. Brand new. Yeah. I looked it up and it's only three hundred dollars for it. How much? Three hundred dollars. He wants a hundred for the rest. Do fifteen for both boxes? Yeah, I just like I said I don't need them. I don't need an old bike. All right, thank you, sir. You got something to put this in? No. Today's being a pretty eventful day at the market, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. This one comes out of there. Three out of six. It won grand. Those are just boxes. What are you asking for the Springfield box? Uh, Ten bucks. All right. It's got everything in it. Check it out. Yeah. Got a got a bunch of a uh, bunch of guns and empty boxes. Right. <laughs> what do you want for this? Huh? Hundred dollars for the this old pack there. This fits one of them XD things, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's got it on the side or something. Yeah, it's got, it should have it right in there somewhere. Yeah, it's somewhere, huh? 19, I think it's all 1911 on there. All right. Gotcha. But yeah. You want to do five for it? I'll go eight. Appreciate it. Hmm. You didn't have all the goodies in there. It probably uh, I would, but uh, yeah, it's got the pouch and the uh, paperwork and everything else. No problem. It's on here to do. Make offers. Yeah, hey, hey, no, you're right. You didn't hurt my feelings at all, man. All right, no problem. That's what we're here to do. <laughs> That's right. Hey, you have a good one. 12 gauge single shot, $100. 7x57 Mauser, which is 7mm Mauser, a full box, and uh, 20 cartridges of 500 Smith & Wesson. I got both of these boxers for $15. We're doing pretty good today, y'all. How much is your Pringles can? One dollar. One dollar. That is cool. I like that. I'll get it for a dollar. I'll buy it for my granny. One dollar. Thank you. Thank you. Hear that, granny? That's for you. Nope. Yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, I sold it. Sorry.
Gotta check it out, don't you? <laughs> 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 That's a small one. Yeah. That's very neat. Yeah. We gotta get out of it. Five bucks. Five bucks. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yep, I guess. <laughs> What did you say the price was? Hundred piece. Had five of them, three of them were pretty quick. I need a twenty two. Yeah. You got any of them, do you? No. He's just my neighbor sheep. Don't hunt. He just asked me how to get rid of him for him. That's what I keep telling him. said, my stuff ain't bad. He's a good rabbit squirrel gun. I'll take 30 for all three of them. Sure would. Huh? Come here no, every week? I just came up this week. I had a bunch of stuff I bought in the shed. And got these 20 a piece. And all right. I looked them up. They they sell forty, fifty dollars at the stores. So. Yeah, put that back in there. You know. Oh no, you took it apart. <laughs> Hell no. What are you? Doing? You don't take man's shit apart without putting it back together. <laughs> yeah, I got that in the wrong yeah. thing. You know the old saying: if you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> leave it alone. Yeah, exactly. What's up, y'all? I got a package. I just don't buy stuff at the flea market. I order stuff off of eBay too. So let's check it out. Woo! Woo! Magic! Subscribe! Let's check it out, y'all. Yeah, we got some chevron beads. Yeah, I like making stuff out of chevron beads. I'll show you a necklace I made here in a minute. Yeah, pretty cool. Some of these are dated back to the 1800s, which I believe these two big ones are and a few little ones. Cool. Here's a quick video of the necklace I made. Those are authentic African lion claws. And this one is silver capped with a couple of onyx stones in the middle. Yeah, pretty cool. Hey everyone, we are now going to go over the finds that I found at the market. So be sure to let me know down below what was your favorite find that I found. And also let me know what you guys look for at the markets. We're going to start out with the cheap ammo. You cannot go wrong with cheap ammo. And it was cheap, cheap. It was chirping at me. So $5 a box is a pretty good deal, especially for 16 gauge. But what was an even better deal was these two boxes for $15 of 7 millimeter Mauser and 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. 500 Smith & Wesson has a $50 price tag on it. And we also picked up a nice H&R 12 gauge. What was your first gun? Mine was a Rossi 22-410 combo. Leave me a comment down below. And we cannot forget about the grenade. Of course, I bought it for display purposes because it's defused. It's a dummy. It is not live. I'm going to paint it up and I'm going to put it on my mantle and it's going to look cool. And that Pringles can I gave my grandma already. So, I appreciate you guys for watching the video. If you want to watch my other market videos, click here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, click there. And if you want to watch my other random videos, click here.
Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.